Hi, welcome to Thomas Brown Coaching. Today's video is quite special because I said at the beginning, so on my second video, that I would make uh, one video a day for 30 days. And this is video number 30. <laughs> uh, so I made it, you know. And it's one of those things where, like I say in previous videos, uh, especially ones about habits, and even about fears. If you set yourself a habit and you do it daily, then it just becomes this thing that you do, you know, and you don't even think about it. It's just you do it automatically almost. Um, for me, it was a little bit tough to find topics every day, but, you know, something always kind of came in when I needed it. And I just, I just did it anyway, you know, <laughs> you know, and I think I have, I think I have a good knowledge about a lot of things um, that I can talk about different things on different days. And it's not really an issue, but for me, for me, and then for, I suppose for anyone, it's getting over that fear of maybe putting yourself out there first. I, for me, I, I went through, I think maybe a month of just contemplating it uh, at the thoughts of putting myself out there to be seen by everybody, you know? And the only, the only thing, the only way to really face it is just to commit to it, you know? Say, I'm going to do it on this date. And then say, I'm going to do it every day, every single day. And the best way to face your fears is to keep on facing it, you know, to keep on pushing yourself um, towards towards it and to not turn your back to it, to just say, hey, this is what it is. I'm going to face it today. I'm going to face it every day. And you get to the stage where you just build up a resilience and it becomes like a just this thing you do, this, this this chore and the fear kind of goes away, <laughs> really. I've also been doing um, Instagram videos every day and uh, not for 30 days, but for, I think, what is it now? Maybe 12 or 13 days, maybe 12 days. And you see with the YouTube videos right now, I don't know in the future, but the YouTube videos are not being viewed by many people. Um, I thought lots of people would view them uh, initially. And I know the Instagram videos are being viewed by many people and I can see who's viewing them as well. So even though the Instagram videos, they're a lot shorter and um, they're probably about 30 to 40 seconds. You know, I know <laughs> that everybody is seeing that, but like so far, I've only gotten good kind of supportive messages. I haven't heard anything bad and even if there is anything bad so what like you know <clears throat> uh the ones that say those bad things probably wouldn't do it themselves or they wouldn't put themselves out there and it's just like scaremongering you know putting in the anxiety in you by um something that other people wouldn't do themselves you know and that's something to be aware of uh people will project onto you what they can't do themselves <laughs> like that's that's a thing and their own anxiety around it um and just because someone else can't or won't do it doesn't mean that you shouldn't or you can't you know so just about pushing yourself and exposing yourselves to fear you know by by challenging ourselves uh by saying to ourselves that we can do it is one thing by trying it over and over and over again, that's when we prove to ourselves that we can, you know? And then <laughs> to do something, like I like to, I like to kind of split up different fears, you know, let's say I do it, let's say five, four, three, two, one, or one, two, three, four, five. And then at the bottom um, is five, and it's like the easiest one, the one that is it, still a fear, it might be very irrational, but like you just go for that one first and then you overcome it. And then you realize that feeling from it, like when you're in it. And uh, for me, it was uh, for me, it was like holding a tarantula uh, because I know, let's say for me, it was, let's say, I know it's just an animal. I have a dog and 
uh, all animals are the same, you know, they're just these living creatures. The only thing about spiders is they just look very scary, like, you know, not that they're actually that scary. So I wanted to overcome that first. And when I was there and I was doing it, it wasn't as bad as what I thought it would be, to be quite honest. Um, and yeah, to understand that it was just an animal and that fear had built up over time, you know. And that's, that's what, if we can expose ourselves to these things as much as possible, um, because most of them are irrational. They're made up from something either from childhood or just have built up over time, or they could be someone else's fears that are projecting onto you. Um, for me personally, I think the, the spider one came from my sisters. I, I have like three sisters and they're all terrified of spiders. <laughs> just, I, I assume because of the look at them. And then I just got that fear uh, just from their reaction to it, really. And by, you know, let's say the longer we leave these things, the longer they build up, <laughs> unfortunately, instead of facing them when they're there and realize, and then changing our perspective and actually explaining to ourselves what it is the thing is, <laughs> you know, the spider is just a spider. It's an animal. I like dogs. Why am I afraid of dogs? You know, why, why am I afraid of horses? You know, being kicked by a horse or something like that would be far worse. <laughs> um, cats and things like that. Like, where, where does that come from? Fair enough, we can look at that. But by looking at them for what they are, rather than what they can do to us, uh, is the best thing, <laughs> you know? To actually look at your fear from an objective point of view and just I don't know and then and then facing it more and more and more and we get used to it um, and yeah and for instance anxiety anxiety is another thing um, when facing your anxieties it's it's just about changing the perspective of it you know like for me, I, I, I did have uh, social anxiety for a long time. And what changed it for me was my way of thinking of myself within that moment of when I get anxious. And, and then I keep on thinking that way, but also, you know, by understanding where, where I came from or even how it manifested. I could overcome it, but also, yeah, for me, it was, let's say, social anxiety, where I used to think that people were very conscious of me, you know, and that was me thinking these things about myself, about what other people would think. But actually, when I when I switched it to, hold on a second, if I'm thinking like that about myself and being very self-conscious, like, what's to say that they, they aren't, <laughs> you know, so they're not looking at me, they're just in their own thoughts thinking about themselves or other people think of them maybe or whatever might be going through their head or they're solely focused on that and that's the thing that's the realization that changed it for me when i realized that what i'm doing or what i was doing in my own mind everybody else is probably doing the exact same and uh, when they're out or if they're going somewhere on their own um that that kind of just like, oh, well, that takes the focus away from me, you know? Um, and yeah, that's, that's important to reframe your fears and to kind of change the perspective on, on them. And also to see, let's say, to be proud of yourself for f facing them, you know? Like for this, for me doing these videos, just me facing it every single day and it's grand now <laughs> you know at first i was probably like really kind of like stiff and i wanted to do it right so i was at, at the beginning i tried to learn my lines or had a few lines that i'd, ha I'd have ready and it just didn't work for me you know it, it has to be natural it has to kind of flow and you have to let your thoughts flow with it so it just kind of over time, you just get more comfortable with it, you know, talking to a camera um, 
and not really really worrying about what people think on the other side they can think what they want you know we don't we don't control that but what we can do is think consider how we feel about it consider how we feel about what people might think do should we care or should we not um and the most important thing is that we're doing something that we feel true to ourselves with you know so me making these videos about these things uh, this these different ways that we can be thinking these different ways that can help us um or help you to move forward to your to your goals and different ways of shifting your perspective is something that I really enjoy talking about. That's something that I re really enjoy doing if that has some effect on someone out there. So why like hold that back from people uh, just because of what other people might think, you know? So yeah, yay for 30, 30 videos. <laughs> I'm really happy with myself. I'm really proud of myself um for doing it and there was a few times where i was like oh i don't really want to do this but um you just keep on doing it the moment you say the moment you say no and you stop like i i remember i went like almost 24 hours where i didn't do one i felt really bad about it <laughs> um because i i made a promise at the beginning and yeah i like to i like to keep my promises you know um including promises to myself and especially promises to my viewers or my potential clients out there that if I say something, I'll do it. And that's the thing as well. You know, if that's something that you can use, like making a promise to yourself, like I promise I won't give up. And it's okay to miss one, but if it makes you feel bad about it, then you don't want to miss them anymore. And building in habits like that and forcing yourself is... I'm not forcing yourself, but you're encouraging yourself to do something that you really enjoy. <laughs> you know, at the end of it, like, look at me, I'm really happy with what I've done. Uh, over 30 days, a different topic. It's incredible. Like, I, <laughs> and I've 30 videos now, 30 videos. Like, a month ago, I had no videos. <laughs> and I have 30 videos now. So, yeah, like, that's what can come out of if you just commit to something and you make a promise that you'll follow through on it and do it. Like anything can be done if you like commit to it, you know, and you really, really want it bad enough and you don't want to let yourself down. So yeah, um, I'm really thankful for anyone that does watch these. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And like, thank you very much for, um, giving these videos a chance. I, I do intend to make more. I'll probably I'll probably uh, lay off maybe for a few days, but I might come back tomorrow. We'll see um, and make some more. But I hope anything that kind of came up is something that resonates with you. Um, as usual, I say, please feel free to leave a comment uh, if you want me to talk about anything in particular. And um, just mention that in the comments. You can, if you want to contact me, my website is thomasbrowncoaching.com. And yeah, please like, share, and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Um, otherwise, yeah, hope you have an awesome day and a great week ahead. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>